A Truly Beautiful Mind by Albert Einstein When Einstein was born, no one thought that he would become one of the greatest thinkers of a time. Rather, his mother thought that he was unusual because his head was too large. He also couldn't speak until he was two and a half years old. When he did speak, he repeated everything twice. He also didn't know how to interact with other children. So they called him Brother Boring and left him alone. At school, his headmaster told his father that he would never achieve success in any profession. However, Einstein wasn't a bad student. He scored good marks in high school. He just felt suffocated by school restrictions and therefore often argued with his teachers. This feeling led him to quit school at the age of 15. During this time, Albert's parents moved to Milan. Einstein obtained their permission to go to Switzerland to complete the studies. Then he decided to attend university in Zurich for higher education. It was there that he met Mileva Merrick, one of the few women in the program. She had moved to Switzerland because it had one of the few universities where women could get degrees. Einstein and Mileva fell in love. His mother, however, disapproved of Mileva. She thought Mileva was too much like Einstein. Despite that, Einstein married her in 1903 and they had two sons. However, a few years later, they divorced. Einstein married his cousin Elsa the next year. While these personal events were going on, Einstein had completed his studies. He started working as a teaching assistant. He also gave private lessons. Finally, he took a job as a technical expert in a patent office. While he was supposed to be working, he developed his own ideas. This led to the publication of his general theory of relativity, which proposed that time and space were not fixed entities. It was successfully proven in 1919. The newspapers called it a scientific revolution and Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. When the Nazis came to power in 1933, Einstein emigrated to the United States. Worried about the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin and its disastrous consequences, Einstein wrote a letter to the American President Franklin Roosevelt. This led to Americans developing their own atom bomb and bombing Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Einstein was deeply affected by this incident. He wrote a letter to the United Nations proposing the formation of a world government. This time, however, no one listened. Einstein undaunted advocated for an end to arms buildup and campaigned for peace and democracy. So upon his death, he was not only known as a scientific genius but also as a visionary and a world citizen.